फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट आई एम डिलाइटेड टू बी प्रजेंट हियर टूडे एट द कोवोकेशन ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मेड्रास आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट द मेडल विनर्स एंड ओल्ड स्टूडेंट्स ग्रेजुएटिंग टूडे आई ऑल्सो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट द प्राउड पेरेंट्स गार्डियंस एंड फैकल्टी मेंबर्स ओन दिस ओकेजन विच इज अ मोमेंट ऑफ जॉय फॉर दैम ऑल्सो आई एप्रिशिएट द फैकल्टी स्टाफ एंड ऑफिशियल्स both past and present of the university of madras for their commitment to the pursuit of knowledge and academic excellence this region has been a cradle of civilization and culture the rich tradition of sangam literature is a precious heritage of india the great wisdom preserved in thiru kural has been guiding all of us for centuries the great bhakti tradition of poetry started in tamil nadu and it was taken to the north by the wandering saints the temple architecture of tamil nadu the statues and sculptures are a tribute to human excellence with pride in the immensely rich cultural heritage that they have the young students have to become important citizens of the global knowledge society of the 21st century Ladies and gentlemen I am told that about 185000 students are currently studying in this university and its affiliated colleges out of these students more than 50% are girl students I am delighted to note further that 70% of 105 students who received their gold medals today are girls the university of madras is a shining example of gender equality by investing in the education of girls we are investing in the progress of our nation educated women can make greater contributions in the economy provide leadership in various sectors and make a positive impact on the society dear students founded in the year 1857 your university has the distinction of being one of the oldest modern universities in india this university has played a critical role in dissemination of knowledge it has been a catalyst for social change and progress throughout its journey of over 165 years your university has adhered to high standards of academics providing an environment that fosters intellectual curiosity and critical thinking it has been a cradle of learning producing countless scholars leaders and visionaries they have also influenced the world of learning in the global context your university has also served as a lighthouse playing a pivotal role in the establishment and growth of many reputed universities in the southern region of india your university has a rich history and a glorious legacy it is indeed a matter of great pride that six former presidents of india were students of this university and walked the same corridors that you walk through today i respectfully remember my illustrious predecessors from this university dr s radhakrishnan shri vv giri shri neelam sanjeeva reddy shri r venkata raman shri k r narayanan and dr a p j abdul kalam the eminent freedom fighter who also served as the first governor general of india shri chakravarti raja gopal chari was a student of this university shri c v raman and dr s chandra shekhar nobel laureates and students of this university have made exceptional contribution to the world of science two chief justices of india justice m patanjali shastri and justice k subba rao have enriched the sphere of jurisprudence the very idea that your university has produced such great people should make you strive hard for achieving excellence in pursuit of learning and nation building 
I feel proud to pay homage to the memories of the Nightingale of India, Shrimati Sarojini Naidu, and the indomitable Shrimati Durga Bai Deshmukh. They were also students of this university. Those two great women were much ahead of their times. They were iconic women who have inspired several generations of Indians and will continue to inspire future generations. All the students of Madras University, especially the girl students, should draw special inspiration from their exceptional stories. Ladies and gentlemen, last month, I interacted with a group of eminent alumni from different academic institutions who have made major donations to educational institutions. I was happy to meet the prominent alumni and benefactors contributing to the cause of education and society. In this context, the alumni of the University of Madras can play a significant role in its growth as a global center of excellence. The university has contributed to their success in many ways. Therefore, they should try to give back to their alma mater. The alumni can mentor the young students. The university should also reach out to the alumni to seek their cooperation for the betterment of the institution. Ladies and gentlemen, the University of Madras has promoted a culture of research and academic rigor. This has enabled the development of skilled human resources which have been driving various industries and sectors. I would urge the university to invest more in cutting-edge research, encourage interdisciplinary studies and promote international collaborations. Embracing emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning and data analytics can strengthen this university as an institution that attracts global talent. The University of Madras should be at the forefront of finding learning-based solutions to the problems being faced by the nation and the world at large. Ladies and gentlemen, I take this opportunity to re-emphasize an issue close to my heart which affects the well-being of our young students. In today's highly competitive environment, the pressure to excel in academics the fear of not getting into good institutions, the anxiety of not lending a prestigious job and the weight of expectations from the parents and the society are causing acute mental stress amongst our youth. It is important that we come together as a society to address this issue and create an environment that promotes holistic growth and well-being of our students. I appeal to all the students to never let any anxiety overwhelm you. There is always an opening or opportunity which may not be visible for some time. Have faith in your abilities and keep moving forward. Parents, academic institutions and faculty members can come together to help the students navigate through the numerous challenges they face. Educational institutions should create an atmosphere that promotes two-way communication where students feel comfortable discussing their fears, anxieties and struggles without being afraid of judgment. We must strive to work collectively to create such an atmosphere where our youth feels loved, valued and empowered to face the challenges with confidence and courage. Dear students, as you embark on the next phase of your lives, I would urge you all to set your targets high but at the same time not to feel pressurized by your goals. Try to work hard to fulfill your dreams with determination and fearlessness. To conclude my address, I will invoke some immortal lines from Mahakavi Subramanya Bharti which are quoted very often because they always infuse new inspiration. This can be interpreted as we will learn both scripture and science. We will explore both heavens and oceans. We will unravel the mysteries of the moon. And we will sweep our streets clean too. 
I am very happy that today in the evening I will participate in a function to honor Mahakavi Bhartiyar. Dear students, I once again congratulate all of you on achieving a major milestone in your life and career. I am sure you are capable of building a very bright future for yourself and for the country. The future belongs to you. With this message, I bless you all. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Stop.